Hi everyone. I want to start uh, this video off by just talking about gross domestic product, or what economists call GDP. Now the idea here is what we want is we want a single number to represent the size of the economy. Okay. So all economic activity that's occurring inside a country or a state or a region in a period of time. So we want a single number to go ahead and represent the total amount of economic activity. You know, why would we want that? Well, we want to know, is the United States economy larger today than it was yesterday, larger than it was 10 years ago, etc. So having measuring the size of the economy by a single number lets us make comparative statements about, say, the U.S. economy, or to compare the size of the United States economy to, say, the size of the Chinese or Canadian or Japanese economy. So getting a single number to represent the total amount of goods and services produced would be extremely helpful. And the obvious problem you run into when you start trying to do that is that, you know, a modern economy, it's not just one thing that's produced. It's literally millions and millions of, of goods and services get produced. You have some cars, you have some food, you have shirts that are produced, you have lawyer services, doctor services, all those types of things. So the key question you run into uh, when you're trying to calculate GDP is how do you add apples and oranges? Add apples and oranges. Now you might hear heard some people say you can't add apples and oranges. To an economist we say yes, in fact you can add apples and oranges. So if you think about it from the perspective of an economist, how might you try to add apples and oranges? What do they have in comparison that you could say, well, this is how many apples is the equivalent to an orange? And it turns out that to an economist, it's actually quite easy to do because we're going to value apples and oranges by their market prices. Right? So if we want to figure out how large an economy is, we're just going to value each apple at uh, the market price for apples and each orange at the market price for oranges. So for example, if I was to put over here, let's just put, you know, oops, go back to this. We'll put price here. We'll have apples and we'll have oranges. And over here we'll have quantity. Oops, let's Erase that, have myself a little bit more room here. I'll put, just put Q for quantity, and then total. All right. So we're going to have a very simplified economy where it's just apples and oranges. We don't want anything complicated. Um, what the Bureau of Economic Analysis does, which is the agency that calculates GDP for the United States, they do this calculation in all its gory complexity with all the uh, millions and millions of goods and services that there are out there. And let's keep numbers simple. So let's just say the price of an apple is a dollar. The price of an orange is two dollars. And that in one particular year, let's say, oh, I don't know, let's say four oranges were produced and two apples were produced. Okay? So what's the total dollar value of output or what's the total amount of economic economic activity that happened in this economy in this year well it's going to be the total amount of spending on goods and services so if you think back to the circular flow diagram uh, video where you could measure the total amount of that economic activity either as the total amount of goods and services uh, or total amount of income generated in the top part of the circular flow or you could have um, measured it as the total amount of expenditures in the economy in the bottom part of the circular flow. Here we're taking that expenditure approach. And so let's see, what's total spending on apples? It's one dollar per apple times two apples, so it's two dollars. What's total spending on oranges? It's two dollars per orange. There's four oranges, so that's eight dollars. And that means GDP is going to be two plus eight or ten dollars. So GDP equals ten dollars because it's the total amount of economic economic activity that's occurring out there in the economy. Okay, it's the total amount of spending. And how did we come up with the um, uh, conclusion that the size of the economy is ten dollars? Well, in this simplified economy where there's only apples and oranges, we valued each apple at its market price of one dollar, and we valued each orange at their market price of two dollars and that converted apples from just a quantity of two into two dollars and it converted oranges from a quantity of four into eight dollars worth of economic activity 
And then since uh, we're measuring both in dollars, you can add two dollars and eight dollars and come up with ten dollars. All right, so that's really the basic idea of how economists uh, measure economic activity. We simply go ahead and value everything at market prices. Then all economic activity is in dollars, and you just add up all the dollars. And you can imagine this happening on a much grander scale where you're looking at not just apples and oranges, but everything that's produced or consumed within a, um, or everything that's produced uh, within a country in a period of time. All right, so that's the basic intuition behind uh, what economists mean by GDP. It's just supposed to be the total amount of economic activity where we're measuring um, economic activity by the dollar prices of the things that are bought. Thank you.